We are ready. Fire! In this video, members of a Ukrainian bomb disposal squad are deactivating mines in the Mykolaiv region of southern Ukraine. A wide array of munitions, artillery shells, rocket-propelled grenades, cluster munitions and land mines. The village of Snyhurivka in the Mykolaiv region was occupied by Russian troops for over nine months. Ukraine's armed forces liberated the village in November, but locals still couldn't return. That's because Russian forces left behind all kinds of mines, booby traps and undetonated munitions. They were expecting an attack and made booby traps to be prepared. They wanted to protect themselves. But then they had to withdraw and just left things as is. Before anyone can move back, the minesweepers move in. We don't go in blind, we get some information first, meaning if we are told there are potential mines somewhere, that's where we go. We start by inspecting the road because we'll use it later to move around. Then we proceed with the rest of the area. Usually one of the first areas minesweepers scrutinize is under power lines. The sooner that area is clear, the sooner electricity can be restored. The bomb disposal team never forgets their job can be a deadly one. In villages we would find grenades, mortar bombs, undetonated munitions. These objects are especially dangerous because handling them incorrectly may lead to death or serious injuries of arms, hands and eyes. Non-experts should never even touch them. All the dangerous objects minesweepers find are then taken to a special facility used for storing undetonated munitions and later for defusing them. Fear is a sign of common sense. People should be afraid to touch these objects, even minesweepers. If they have no fear, that's a problem. It forces us to be more careful, because you know people will be back in this area after you leave. In December, three munitions experts were killed while searching for mines in the Kherson region. Officials with the Emergency Service Unit say that since the start of Russia's invasion, over 8,000 undetonated munitions have been found and destroyed in the Mykolaiv region alone. For Elizaveta Krotak in Mykolaiv region, Ukraine, NRI's VOA News.